Why, hello everyone, Blink99 here, and welcome to another episode of Supermarket Simulator. It's been a while since I did a uh, video on this, but like I told you, it'd probably be a week or two until I could do another video so that we have content. Um, I know, well, some people are able to make content out of this, but it's quite difficult for me. Uh, I think where we left off, I mentioned to you all that the approach I was going to try to take is to how do I say accomplish turn in if you will um, I, I consider these missions right the the growth the hiring and the storage and the licenses and what I was going going to suggest or I still sort of am is I complete in order right so from the lowest to the highest uh, so we see this is 42 but if I go to growth we have 37 40 45 so my original idea is I would do 37 40 and then 42 you know basically going in order um, and this is 50 let's see here we still need about 700 oof, uh, to do checkouts myself um, but you know i'm gonna kind of deviate a little bit here and there so that i i make this video a little bit more interesting for you all so as you all can see i rearranged the um storage room and i did it in order as the ordering system so here are the online market see you have uh the cereal bread and if we look here cereal bread and then it just goes in order all the way around uh don't know if that really helps much it seems to but it's taken me quite a while to get used to it so when i go outside to pick up the box and bring it in my brain has to readjust to this new system uh, as you can see now i've also reorged the main room the store itself uh believe it or not this is my second attempt i had a different design earlier and i'll explain here in a second but this is the one i'm well I have at the moment I, I did not take care of any order of putting things together it was more and I'm still testing whether if this layout works basically I'm trying to maximize everything that I can and what seem it seems to work except for when the customers come here and do their checkout and it's always these three I believe or these two at least the person checks out they're done and instead of walking this way and then out for whatever reason they go back this way and then they cut through here to go out you would think they would go the shorter distance the shorter distance would be going forward and then out but i don't know why they're going out and around so i kind of want to figure uh how can i fix that in a way by by the way the layout is you know <laughs> for example i could put the these um shelves right here to close it off so they couldn't come in but that's just that's not how supermarkets look right um what i had before was i don't know if you've all been to sometimes like thrift stores or the smaller uh supermarkets in the u.s at least and what it tends to be is you come in and it's like walled off and it forces you to go this way and usually they would have like um um I don't know what you call those little barriers that swivel as you walk through with bars and it's kind of forcing you in here and then you can shop inside right and so it's kind of walled off and it's kind of a security thing that they the reason why they do that because it forces you in here and it's not that you can kind of easy easily come out and everyone who checks out comes out through here so it's an easy way to monitor who comes in who goes out so i did have that so i had this all walled off I even had it walled off to this degree to where you then came in here and then you could shop. But what was happening was the customers would come in and then go here and then just cut through the registers to get to the middle section. Um, obviously that is the shorter distance uh, for the NPC for whichever the first product they're wanting to buy. Uh, so from my programming point of view, yes, but from my layout, no, it doesn't work very nicely. Um, if there was a way that the programming would say you're not allowed to do that then it would work but it doesn't so i went with this layout and that's where i am today uh you all see i did expand it two times from the last video 
and I need like I think 20 some thousand which I only have half at the moment as you can see at the top right to get this last section out but I you know it's gonna take me a while so I was like let me do a video you know it, it's been a while and I, I want you all to get some sort of content here and there uh, with this store instead of waiting a month and then I lose your interest uh, maybe I, I have already which is unfortunate um, so what I want to do is do a new license today and then um, yeah, let's just do a new license and uh, go through the day uh, I only have 10,000 hopefully that's enough I obviously it's gonna take me quite low uh, but that's okay there's no worries there I have already replenished all the current stock so whatever we do here is all new so we're gonna go ahead and get um, a new license and the product is gonna be ham cheese beef pastries ham lasagna so this looks like refrigerated items um, yeah let's go for it okay we have it now and now we can go to the market and scroll down yeah fridge 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 so it's all fridge um, and how many products sorry one two three four five six seven products and we usually buy these that's one two three four five Ooh, we're low here five and we need seven and we do have three open spots so we can buy one fridge and we can use the rest of our slots there so this is good let's go ahead and fill that up I don't know why my stock guy restocker guys are not filling that up because we do have the product this is where I, I just don't like sometimes the the algorithms it seems to work and not work in certain cases that's quite low I don't oh now you're coming a little late there buddy um, yeah so fridge stop talking and let's get this going so let's get the big fridge and let's get two of each for now one two one two one two one two um, I'll just leave it like that grab you we definitely have the space and this looks like the lasagna let's put that no let's put it here okay one box is gonna give us a row this is good to know so the other box we can put in the stock whoops where is it is it this one yeah so I'm gonna put it here oh wait we have to go in order right um, oh that is not lasagna so this goes here oh why did I say lasagna Oof, I was way off that's like a egg croissant type thing right ground beef too bad we can't put it there I'll be rearranging another day again it's more about just getting the product on the shelves for the moment and testing out the layout so one box per section so we have to use up both have one so we have a section dedicated for it in the um, stock room and uh, another pastry thing all right full box that's good let's go ahead and put that here all right let's see here double check this so the ham and cheese 
thing. It was this. Then ground beef, which we're going to buy one. One of the ham. And then the ham pastry was the this one. And then two of the other items till we figure out if we need to buy more. <clears throat> All right, we got our ham. Whoops, I probably should have. Usually I keep it on the picture section and then I know very quickly. Whoops, I think I messed up. It's only one. Oh yeah, okay, I did it alright. So the ham comes after the ham pastry, which means here. This is a new product, chicken. Let's put it uh, here. Alright, looks like we'll have to buy more of the chicken. And let's put away the ground beef. So that and then there. See the chicken, we need to buy it as I mentioned because we're filling it up here. And now we have some new product that looks like bacon. I call that meat candy. Or is that prosciutto? Okay. So chicken and prosciutto, I guess that is. For our back room, that is. Let me go ahead and order, get it placed. Uh, bu -bu -bu prosciutto, chicken, and the lasagna. Okay, one box fills it up. Did I count? I think I counted wrong. Um, lasagna comes after the ham. All right, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exactly. One, two, three, four, five. And then these two, six, seven. How did I count this wrong? Oh, is it because it's five? One, two, three, four, yeah, that's why. And then I used the two over here. Okay, I accidentally counted a little more. And we'll go ahead and purchase of those. Uh, chicken is the last one, so that goes there. And the prosciutto goes here. Double check. Yeah. So now we can begin the store. Open the store. Okay, let's open the store. Get behind the counter and let them come in. Let's see if we get uh, who's going to be our first person, at least. Well, actually, well, let's step out and see who's going to be the first person to buy the new products. Go ahead and check, make sure everything is looking okay. Nothing major missed, like the uh, large sushi. I think that was just a small little bug when I saved it. All right, here's our customers. Let me stand. Oh, she was quick. Um, 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay, so she grabbed apple juice. Oh, there she is. There's the first one. The blue high heels, I'll call her. Oh, I didn't see what that said up there. Oh, I'll have to check the recording. <laughs> Some message came in the top left. I don't know if you guys saw that. Alrighty. 320. 1, 2, 3, and 20. Beer and flour. Interesting. 1725. Thank you. Come again. Don't forget, we got some new product in the back. You may want to check that out next time you come in. So if you all check, 
uh, maybe, well, interesting, I usually don't, oh, he's our new, for me, buying the new product, you'll see, well, this lady I think will go straight, it's the ones behind, kind of stalling so I can see where she walks. So slow. Oh, they're all giving me exact change today. Yeah, she goes forward, but it's the ones in the back that come around this way. You're selling a pro Oh jeez Louise. Oh, that's why. Um I forgot to set the prices. Oh no, they're getting it for free. Five. Uh, 11, nope, 10.55, 5.60, oh, I can't believe that, 8, uh, 60, 12, 10, uh, over here, prosciutto, 7.50, the lasagna 1560 okay there we go Whew. sorry 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 I forgot to put prices I apologize I'll go super fast for you all 315 1 2 3 15 I always appreciate when we have an exact change. Uh, 54.79. Thank you, ma'am. Ooh, just a keg. I like it. Coffee? Okay. I guess that's your morning wake up. enjoying this game everyone I uh, just something I I had one of you all uh, if you're still watching I really do appreciate it who actually likes just the constant videos of me uh, restocking and just going through the daily routine right um, I just feel that maybe more of you don't find that as exciting let's say to watch uh, and the reason why I kind of know that is I see the viewership of my videos a drop. Um, so that's why I'm, I've moved to the way of trying to have content for you all, something new, whether, well, it's usually a license <laughs> um, or a major change like I did in the store, uh, which basically this video is what I try to bring you all now instead of just the daily routine things. Um, obviously, if I get a lot of you, in the comment section that is who would comment that they do like the daily approach um, then I will do videos so no problems there um, it's just I don't want to bore you all is all um, I do know there are other uh, streamers out there who do make I guess more interesting content I, uh, on a daily basis for this game and I haven't checked it out and maybe I should to see how they're doing it um, so then I have an idea of what I can bring to you all. Um, so I'll do that. I'll do a little bit of homework uh, for those out there who do like this game, to watch this game. 
but again, obviously, it, it comes down to the number of viewers and the participation with the uh, like button uh, that dictates uh, how often I uh, create a video of a supermarket sim. But again, as I mentioned before, I do enjoy this game, so I don't mind playing it, you know, offline by myself. But hey, if I'm playing, why not record, right? And I would share those with you all. Uh, 1555. Thank you, sir. Come again. Hello, sir. You're looking spiffy there. Hard day at work. Yeah. Tell me about it. Catch you next time. Take it easy. Lady in red. That's about all the singing you're going to hear from me. For any of you who know that song. You're buying a lot of stuff there. So I did have one customer in one of my offline days where it was 200 and like. 30 bucks was my highest uh, customer yet that I checked out. Obviously, I haven't watched all the others here. So we're at 9 o'clock, and funny enough, I usually still have people coming in, even though I'm technically supposed to be closed. But I do this for you all, the residents. Well, who am I kidding? I'm doing it for myself to earn some cash, right? Profit. Looks like the admins, uh, the developers need to fix her red hair, how it glitches like that. The polygons, I think it is. Can you look away? Oh yeah, it's her hair. It's disco hair. Maybe that's why I should call her Miss Disco. And I called her Lady in Red, that was wrong. Because that's not a red dress, that was red hair. So, my bad. Looks like we have no more new customers coming in. Let's see how the new products did. Not bad. They may have been restocked uh, during the time frame. All right. So I'll show you how this new system works with me uh, purchasing uh, restock items. Well, let's see how the day before it's me not jump ahead. We have two more customers before I can close out the day. Did he grab the vodka? I'll grab the vodka, but something tells me we are not out. Okay. Yeah, usually I also try to help restock. Not too often, though. I tend to um, walk away from my PC for a few minutes and uh, let the NPCs do the restocking so that I give myself, my personal self some time to do other things. And unfortunately I can't just, or can I? I can't remember, let me see. Oh, I can't look right now. Um, let's find a, yeah, exactly, when you switch screens for example it pauses the game so you can't do other things on your pc while they're restocking which is mm, i wish they wouldn't do that they should we should be able to do other things on our pc that it doesn't pause like that maybe there is an option i just didn't see it i'll have to check the settings Hello. I think I have the hot sauce. Where be the hot sauce? Up here. Ketchup and mayo. Yep, okay. It's the two things I can focus on at least. So as soon as I do these two, I'll uh, finish the day off and we can see how well we did. <clears throat> uh, da, 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 this and the mayo. Alright, enter. 
all happy customers. Good to see. Uh, of course, we won't be able to see how well we did um, because of the licenses and whatnot. Yogurt, soda, olive oil. Yogurt, soda, olive oil. I think it was Jitsu something. Is it this one? Yep. Let's go ahead to Haiti and olive oil. Yeah, I haven't learned the layout still because it doesn't make any sense and I didn't have time because I was exploring again the layout uh, and not the uh, where I place items. And I, I will probably take one day, don't know when, where I will adjust it to look to give it more sense where the items are placed. Um, and I am still learning this. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Where did I see it? White sugar. And the brown sugar. cracked there a little bit. <clears throat> Gotta sound a little manly. Oh, you know, the person beat me. Okay, uh, the soap. Brown sugar is over here. Soap is here. Alright, so this aisle, or this row part, and we need a choco chips. Crispy chibis. Oh, is he doing it? Perfect. So that row is complete. This is done. We're probably needing those two items. Oh no. Spaghetti and the blue stuff. Flour. Spaghetti and the blue flour. Do we have spaghetti? Yes, we do. Good. Okay, that is complete. Let's check over here. Uh, 16, 12, 12, 15. Don't know if that is uh, 24. That was the crab meat. So 24 is the number. There it is. 12 ice cream. 10, 12. So the uh, chip, um, chips, the uh, french fries. Here. 16, 16, 24, 14. Yep, so the red pizza is over here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, it's 16. 16, 12, 12. Okay, so the fridger these refrigerated items are complete as far as I can tell. Salmon. Is that 20? Oh, close. So you can see this takes quite a bit of time, even with me helping. So you can imagine how long it takes if I just walk away from the PC and let them run the show. So you, it's quite a bit of time. And you know, for some of you like me who are extremely ha or who have extremely busy lives, this is quite useful, right? You can walk away, go do other things, and come back, and it's done. I do. All right, let's do some. No, we're still got a lot of restocking to do. Hmm. Turco. Let's go with Sprite. Oh, 
Okay, then the Turco, uh, that's the red one, I believe. Whoops, over here. And over here somewhere. And the white Coke. It's here. Waters are good. The new soda's pink by one. Okay, our beers, oh, we're short on the green beer. Whoops, over here. Green beer, we're out, okay. Tuna, one, yogurts. Where is the yogurt? That one I'm not used to, because that's one that you can go quite a long time without having to uh, replenish. Oh, I am blind. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> he was doing the same thing. Okay. All right, I think we can now focus on some replenishment so we can take a bread the one bread one flour one bread one flour then I just have to scroll like this um, got that got that so we can take coffee milk coffee milk tea is good Peanut butter, good. That is good. That is good. That is good. I try to keep minimum 10 salt and the white soda. Salt, white soda. Two sprites. Apple juice, we're good. The, I don't know, condensed milk or whatever that's called. That's good. Uh, the pancake. And yogurt. Pancake. Oh, we're full. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the yogurt while we're at it. And let's replenish or stock it up. And I do it like this because I, I could do it section by section. I know all I need to do is focus here and nothing behind me, right? Because it's all in the beginning. So I think that does help in the reduction, time reduction once I perfect learning where, where things are placed. That should trigger with the guy, yep. Ooh, that's quite low, but we're going to have to deal with it. I'm just showing you the progress process. Usually what I do as well is I'll take this out, grab one so that we can take one of these away, and then buy a new box of chicken. Uh, but I'm not going to do that now just due to the speed of, or, you know, what I, the time I have for this video. But you get the idea, right? It's just going in order, and I know what to grab. Two elbows. And then already on the next one. Good, good. Good. And usually I have I, my only requirements having two and above, uh, ten and above. Uh, the sushi, the large, that's all I can do. Yeah, so I do ten and above. Make sure I grab the right. Uh, I always mix these two, the larges and the small sushis. We're probably going to have to buy more because he's going to probably use that whole box up would be my guess. Mm. 
and that's what I do. So I, I, I like to wait to all my restockers are done so that I know uh, once I go through this, I, I know everything I need to buy instead of kind of waiting and guessing and moving through here and they're taking stuff out of here and then this is empty then I have to backtrack again, um, figuring out what I need to order. Sometimes when I want to spice it up, I will do that <laughs> to keep it, uh, keep me on my toes. But uh, yeah, generally no. So now since they were doing restocking, I double check what they were taking. Okay, I think we're okay. Yeah, that chicken I'll deal with later offline. So see, he used both actually, so I can order another two set of large sushis. The one small, scroll down. We can take pork chops and spice and pork chops, the spicy and ketchup. Good, good, good. Two beers and one keg, two beers, one keg, and I already know the green one. We need more green though. Oops. Uh, is this the large? So you can see all this I'm doing, that was just one day and that's, I mean, we're reaching 37 minutes already, right? I didn't pause or any, or I paused it once or twice, but I didn't uh, do any actions uh, when I was in pause mode. So the game does take quite a bit of effort and time. So you can see, and, and each day I'm pulling around 1.5, 1 1.6, uh, you know, 1,600. So to reach that 20,000 mark, you know, that's 20, 15 times I need to run this same process over and over. Um, so yeah, that's why it took me a while to then create this video and, and make the decision. Let me just do the video, right? So that you all are not just standing there waiting and then you kind of lose interest and move on. Chips, hummus, vodka. Chips, hummus, vodka. One chip. One of the potatoes. Did I say chip? Yeah, I did. Pepper. Uh, bread. Bread, 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 bread. Where are you? And this white uh, sugar powder. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next level. Good, good, good. Two times new TP. The coffee. Good, 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 good. 1712. The new items. Oop, chicken. Yeah, so basically that's m what I do uh, several times, right? It's up upwards of 10 times before I can start expanding. So in this case, it's going to be, what, 15 times roughly uh, that I need to re rinse and repeat before I get enough money to then open up that back section there. And I will bring you all back for that because I think by then, let's check. Uh, we have to reach level 56. We're at level 49, so that's actually quite a bit of ways. Oops, need to pay our bills. So we need, uh, I think, yeah, 20,000. Hiring is going to be a way. So yeah, maybe by then we'll be opening up uh, the next licenses. Let's check it out, actually, just out of curiosity. Green beans, vanilla, ice cream, pizza. It looks like refrigerated items again. Beers. More vodka whiskeys, that's a mix of probably fridge and shelf. Parmesans, okay, so it's going to open up this row of items. And we can choose any one, right, because they're all the same price and all the same level. So based on our 
whatever shelves we have available or purchase, we can uh, decide which one to buy. So that will be the next video, probably, will be at least when I reach that level 56 or when we expand the growth back there, or it's going to be both. We'll see. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, please consider hitting that like button for me. Uh, if you want to see more of the content, the daily content, let's say, uh, just make some comments, please, and I'll do a video on it. Then uh, right now, I just assume you don't want to see the same thing over and over. That's it. Uh, if I've earned your viewership, uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button It'll, and hit the bell notification. I'll let you know when I do upload a new supermarket video. <laughs> Or uh, you can check out the other games I do record as well, and you might enjoy some of those, and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So, until then, I will catch you all in the next video.